season, same expectations for the Hilton Head Christian Eagles. Goals have not changed at all. We still want to win the state champ. And, uh, you know, we take it game by game. Every single game we get out there, we, uh, we want to win. Head coach Ryan Mitch guided Christian to the brink of a Skeezer 2A state championship in his first season. However, the Eagles would fall to Florence Christian and finish state runners up in 2013. You know, we are very young at a bunch of spots, but at the same time, we got a bunch of new kids out here who are really excited to play football. While Hilton Head Christian has been one of the teams to beat for several years now, they will have their share of challenges this fall. In addition to wearing a big old target on their backs, the Eagles looking to replace guys like quarterback Brad Maccarello. You know, I think we're going to be more balanced this year in terms of running passing versus last year where we relied so heavily on the run. Just down the street at Hilton Head High School, the Seahawks are poised to take flight this fall. I made the playoffs every year since freshman year. If we can just get over that hump and just go deep and win the regions, that mean a whole lot to me. Head coach B.J. Payne returns a solid core group that went 7-4 and four and advanced to the first round of the state playoffs a season ago. I mean, our kids get excited about coming out to practice every day. They want to learn. There's new things for them each and every day. Um, you know, so we think, you know, we think we're going to compete really well in our non-region non schedule and our region schedule. The Seahawks, a young squad but loaded with talent. In fact, six players have already received Division I scholarship offers, and only one, Aaron Frazier, is a senior. It's going to take a lot more effort than last year and the year before. We're just going to have to keep on pushing and working. While Hilton Head will compete in a new look region, the biggest challenge in 2014 may be finding a way to get the ball into the hands of so many playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, if we could play with seven footballs, it'd be great. Um, but, you know, you only get one. And that's one thing we have to make sure we do offensively is, you know, we're patient. We're making sure everybody's getting touches.